We all know how keen hawkish Hillary Clinton is on regime change in the Middle East, in Iraq, Libya, Syria. What often gets forgotten, however, is what she did in Honduras. The fact that Honduras was a democracy didn't stop then Secretary of State Clinton backing regime change even there. Back in 2009, she threw her support behind the coup that ousted democratically elected Honduran President Manuel Zelaya, who was flown out of the country in his pajamas. While the UN, the EU and the OAS were calling for Zelaya to be immediately reinstated, Clinton was, in her own words, to quote her 2014 memoir, Hard Choices, strategizing a plan to restore order in Honduras and ensure that free and fair elections could be held quickly and legitimately, which would render the question of Zelaya moot. A pretty damning admission. Which is probably why she removed it from the paperback edition of her memoir that came out a year later. To make things worse to this day, Clinton insists, against all evidence, that Honduran institutions followed the law in removing President Zelaya and refuses to call a coup a coup. Our assessment was we should slow walk and try to stop anything that the government could take advantage of without calling it a coup. That wasn't the assessment of our own US ambassador on the ground in Honduras at the time, who wrote in an official memo, there is no doubt that the military, Supreme Court, and National Congress conspired on June 28 in what constituted an illegal and unconstitutional coup. That memo of his includes the word coup a mere 12 times. Maybe Clinton just lost it in all her other emails. But here's the worst part. Earlier this year, Clinton actually congratulated herself on how events in Honduras turned out. We managed a very difficult situation without bloodshed. Put aside for a moment that the people of Honduras might not want the US managing situations in their country, to say with a straight face that the whole thing happened without bloodshed is astonishing, given the UN says the murder rate in Honduras went up by almost 50% after the coup, with the return of death squads, ongoing violence, and soldiers accused of murder and torture. Berta Cáceres, the famous Honduran human rights activist who singled out Hillary Clinton for backing the Honduran coup, warned in 2013 that the army has an assassination list of 18 wanted human rights fighters with my name at the top. When they want to kill me, they will do it. In March of this year, Cáceres was shot dead inside her own home. I guess it isn't surprising, is it, that Henry Kissinger and Hillary Clinton are such good friends.